Veg Fam. It's your girl T here. I thought I'd come at you with another video because I am actually home alone. There's no one here with me. Yay! And I got a package in the mail the other day. Um, that was a big surprise. I was so happy. I mean, I knew I ordered it, but you know, I didn't think it would come that fast. So I am sipping on some water if you see this. And then um, my computer's on. Then I'm also drinking my can of soda for the day. If you hear any noises, my computer is um, on. Let me see if I can mute the sound. But I have I opened it, but I haven't looked inside of it. But we got a box. What's in the mystery box? Let's see what's in the mystery box. I have I have a bunch of cups on my desk because I'm, I'm working on cups. My cup order is behind now that the um my cup order is behind now that the grandbaby is here with us full time because our mother works and so and then she does a fit not to want to go home so she's here with us but she got to go home with her mother this weekend because her mother has some extra days off so i am taking the day for granted the baby daddy is at work and i'm home alone i'm not feeling my best but we will make do we'll make today a day of yay but anyway so back to what i was saying I ordered, <laughs> I want to say this is a, I want to say a $60 box of glitter. That is what I'm almost positive this is. I want to say my last order for glitter, well not my last order, my order before my last order was a $69, maybe $70 order of glitter. So I'm almost positive that's what this is. Um, I mean, I, I know it is because I know what the company's name is and it's on here. But um, I just did another order and my baby daddy is going to choke me because he pays for all my glitter. Um, and I'll try to insert a picture of what I have so far in glitter. Uh, displayed on the shelf over there. Um, but um, my baby daddy's going to kill me because my last order I did, I do believe was $150 worth of glitter. And they just came out with their Christmas bundles. Oh, I am in heaven. I told my baby daddy that there was not enough glitter. There's never enough. It's always good to have multiples in colors, like more than one. So two and three in colors. Because I thought if I just go like one of every color, I'd be good to go. But no, you wouldn't realize how much glitter you go through when you make a tumbler, a cup. Um, here's one that... I am currently working on um, it's a it's supposed to be a fall tumbler um this one I'm not a big fan of it me personally I don't like it but I want to give it a chance and it's just uh, I forget what colors they are but I it's, um, the base coat color of it well the the color you see in these stripes these two stripes right here um, I think it's called oats it's a um, I will post a picture or I'll link it down below of what color it is. But I think it's Oats by Crymex. I don't know. It's it's over there too. So I will try to post a picture somewhere. But, but anyway, this cup took more glitter than I thought it would take. And like I said, I, I like it, but I don't like it. For one, I didn't clean up my lines. So there's glitter in these two lines right here. Then there's a spot, there it is right there, right here. This spot right here, my glitter went over, so I'm not a big fan of it. There's a spot on the bottom, it's right to, right here. It just looked like my glitter wasn't smooth at all, and I need to get it straight. But I um, was up here with the grandbaby the other day, and <laughs> I made this cup originally for the baby daddy to have just to t carry around the house to keep his coffee warm because we we love the um the stainless steel insulated cups they keep your drinks cold i carry this around this is like my go-to this is alcohol ink uh th this is my go-to cup to carry out the house it's normally the one that's always clean or it's always just got water in it but um 
this I, I refilled it with ice but I left at the house this morning at um oh gosh I left at the house this morning at I want to say 11 probably it was 11 um I filled it up with ice and water and went out the door I got back here probably about 5 30 it stayed in my car the whole time like I don't take it in the stores with me because God knows I do not believe in taking a cup in the store with me. Um, but it stayed in my car that whole time. Like, it's been in my car the whole time. And um, I had drunk the water off of it and poured more water on it. But um, the ice stayed in the cup the whole, I mean, the whole time. I mean, these are some super nice cups. I mean, they are worth, they're really worth the money. If you pay somebody to make you one, believe you me. The price they pay, the price you pay, you pay for it, it is so worth it. And then the, remember th that their time went into making this, whatever it is. Like I said, this one's not finished, so but I love how smooth it is. It's like super smooth. But um, anyway, so I love these. Like I love making my cups. I, I love it. I've not sold any, but I love doing it. Um, I'm great working on another one. That's Christmas. I'm great. Put a faux, faux leather on one. It's got reindeers on it. If I could turn it up right, you can see which way to go. They go this way. Reindeer on it. I don't know if you can see it. But anyway, so I'm going to wrap this one around this tumbler. This is the one my daughter likes uh, because it's got the lid on it. And it's got a, uh, it's got a metal straw. So I have it. This is a Duncan straw I've had for so long. You can tell. <laughs> you can tell I've had it for a while because the paint. Oops, I can get it. You can see the paint is chipping off of it. But it says Duncan. If you can see real close. Hold on. If I can get it in the camera. I don't know if you can see it or not. But it says Duncan on there. Oops. Right there. You can even see where the paint's coming. I mean the color chipping off of it. But yeah. I keep that one in this. This is my go-to. I keep it on my nightstand. I love these cups. I mean. And I normally do the skinnies. But anyway, so I was back to what I was saying before I jump around. Um, I was working on one, but this one has a little bit. Anyway, this this one has a straw. <clears throat> when the straw is in it, I think this is the one. When the straw is in it, it's spill proof. Now, it will leak from the straw. Whatever's in the straw will leak. But far as the cup it won't leak the cup will not spill nothing at all now this is what the company said not me <laughs> i've not tried it but i'm gonna wrap that i'm gonna do a wrap i'm gonna wrap this around this and then the rest of it will be either glittered or something i don't know but anyway so when i was ordering my cups this time around i found well Last time I made a cup order, I found some other ones that I thought were really, really neat. And my baby daddy is always hollering for a cup to get made for him. He wants a cup, a tumbler, I should say a tumbler, um, if I use proper in cup English. Um, he always wants a tumbler with his logo on it. And I'm just like, <laughs> I feel like, boy, look, you do not need a cup. You do not, you do not need a cup. That's more dishes for me to wash, but anyway, um, he wanted to take the work with him to show, you know, show for everybody. He's got a logo on a cup. Uh, take it out when he goes on a photo shoot or to film a wedding. And um, I wish there was a way I knew how to do cups without getting glitter because there's glitter on everything. But uh, I had made, I had seen this one and it reminded me of a, I want to say the, mugs that that they have um that you have in some restaurants i think they pour beer in i don't drink beer I, I, but this is what i can remember but anyway when i seen this i was like oh i gotta have one like i want one i don't have the lid to it. i mean i have the lid to it but it's over there and i'm not gonna go go find it it's this happened to be sitting on my desk but anyway so i was like you know what let me make him one now this cup's been sitting here for a couple of weeks now and i just ain't finished it because like i said the grandmother came and she's on schedule for everything in the house I don't craft as much as I get to. That I don't craft as much as I used to because I don't have time. They know me on my days off. It's, you know, let's get the house clean, stuff like that. Or I just want to relax because my back hurt. But anyway, so I had made this for him. And I was like, let's try alcohol ink 
he loves the color black. Black is his favorite color. I always say that's why, you know, he's my baby daddy, right? Um, he, <laughs> that's why he's the baby daddy. He loves the color black. Everything is black, 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 black. What do you want this in black? What do you want that in black, black, black? I'm like, oh my gosh, James, can we get something else other than black? Well, anyway, so I was playing with alcohol inks and I was like, let me try a black ink with a white. And I did. And then um, when you do alcohol inks, you stir it around. Well, then I did the first coat and it was like, I like that. That, that looks nice. Like it was smoked. Well, I decided to try to put glitter on it. No, don't put glitter on everything. I don't know if it's the glitter I used that didn't look right or was it the way I did it because I'm still a newbie to this. I just started doing this in August. So August, May, June, July. Hold on, August, September, August, May, June, July. I'm, where am I at? Um, August to now, whatever. Anyway, I did this cup and I wasn't a big fan of it. I was like, mm, I messed it up with the glitter. So I let it sit there and I sit there and I sit there. So I didn't want to strip it. I said, let me try just laying another coat of epoxy on it and then going at it again. And I did. And when I did, it came out beautiful. I mean, I love it. Now, you can't tell where I put glitter on it. If I tell you that you can't tell because you can't see it. You can't see it at all. Like, there's no no signs of glitter. I mean, you'll see glitter on it because we've been sitting where glitter was. But there's no glitter on it. Like, it's full shiny. That is the inside of it. I love the shape of it. The shape of it is really nice. I think this is 30 I think 30 ounces I do believe but I love the shape of it like it's really nice like it's skinny it's wide skinny and then it flares up to the top and it's got a clear lid like this one that goes on top of it really nice well anyway so you can't tell where I put the glitter at right like you can't see glitter at all it doesn't sparkle not at all well when I tell you where I put the glitter you're gonna be surprised that the glitter is even there the glitter was applied right here well, if you can see, I'm, I'll, try, I'll try to get a clip of it outside um, when we get daylight back. But um, the glitter was around the bottom. And if you can see that some of the bottom looks like you can see through the cup. I mean, through the tumbler. It looks like foggy, stormy. Like, um, I don't know how to say it. Kind of like a nasty, wa dirty water. Oh, not a dirty water because that's not right, but... Anyway, it looks really good in person. Like, it's really nice. And like I said, I'll try to get a picture of it outside in the daylight and let you see it. Um, and then you can see where it was base um, painted black. You can see the rim right here. It was base painted black. And so it looked like, it kind of like you can move it around, like it'll swirl around, but you can't. It's just the way it looks. Now I think it's so neat because it's so, wow, like, you get a glance and you're just like, hold on. Like, does it move? No. Well, anyway, I call it a smoke out cup. This is not what this is called. The effects that I put on it makes it look smoky. Now, there is videos out there on how to apply smoke. I've never watched one yet, but it, they take a cup and base paint it. And then somehow they get the, the, um, the set of the smoke to go on the cup. I've not watched one of those yet. I've watched every other one but that one. But, um... So, this is what I call like a smoke out effect on a cup, an alcohol ink version. My version, okay? My version of it. This is not the correct English for this, but that's how I seen it. But anyway, I like this. We love these cups now. Um, I am working on, I'm working on two um, sippy cups that are stainless steel, um, double insulated. And they're um, transitioning. You go from your sippy cup with your, with your um, stopper in it to your... To pick up without the stopper, then you can go to your uh, adult lids like this in the straw. So they actually stay with the cup. It, it grows with them. And I think it's so neat. Um, I just made two of those and sold them. And I'm making two more for two little girls. And they're so cute. I love them. I'm doing those in Minnie Mouse. I think they're so cute. But I, these cups are well worth it. I mean, the money you pay, you're going to be like, oh, wow, I'm not paying that much for a cup. Believe you me. Whoever did the work to make that cup look good for you, 
they put in some time. It's like artwork. It's an original. I don't think there's anybody out there who can repeat their work as the same, but they can get it close to it. So think about it. You're getting an original when you get your cup. It, it's They're very nice. Um, I'm back. Now, um, I actually like this one. This is probably... I don't know if I'd say my favorite cup because I tend to like them all. Um, this is one of my fall favorites. As you've seen, this was one that I said it was going to be a fall tumbler. I still haven't put anything decal-wise on this one to, um, to make it look fall because I'm still trying to decide. But having this one sit, being done like this to this point, I had went ahead and did this one. Now, this one... I like it. it. It looks fall. Um, overlook the black leaf right there. I was I had cut out a bunch of um, I had cut out a bunch of leaves and was trying to fill in spaces to make it like falling leaves. And this is what this one turned out. I love it. It's got the cheetah print pumpkin. I wanted to put a saying on it, but I went without a saying because who this cup is going to. Um, I just wanted to leave it blank. Like she didn't need a saying on her cup because this spoke for her. And it is just too doggone cute. I love the leaves. I like they're falling. They're in color for fall leaves. But normally I forget to do the bottoms of my cups. And I normally would like like this and just leave it blank and don't do nothing on the bottom. Right? Or I would, I don't have another one over here that's blank because this one has, you know, it matched in with alcohol ink. Try to avoid spilling water myself, but um, I'm gonna leave my bottoms blank, and this bottom is blank, but this bottom is not blank all the way. So I made it look like in the fall when you sit your cup down or you go outside, it's like a rainy fall day, and you step in the leaves, and the leaves get stuck to your shoes or whatever you put down. There's leaves may get stuck to it, your tires and your car or something like that. So I thought with this one because I forgot to cover the bottom, and literally it slipped my mind to cover the bottom with glitter. I decided to put leaves on the bottom like it has been set down the leaves and I love it I think it's so cute it's like leaves are there and it's not but it looks like it they like real leaves it's so cute and then I did that one so like if it got stuck up the side of it oh, hold on where'd it go there it is I think it's cute I actually like it um like I said it's the pumpkin and I love this one. Um, I had cut out another pumpkin just like this, but with cheetah print red. And I didn't put it on here because I thought that was a little too much. But yes, love it. I think I like doing cups more than I like doing shirts, but I also can do shirts. I don't have any, um, I don't have any shirts up here made. My Grammy was shirts we sent home because she needed to wear them before I got out of season for them. Um, but anyway, so back to the whole point of the video. But I had made a cut for my grandbaby and I hadn't finished it yet, but we let her pick out our stickers. <laughs> She's only two. So <laughs> here we go. We got Sassy Queen. And then she picked out. She didn't know what she was picking out. She's only two. I think it says cutie. Too cute. Too cute. Then it's a new day. And then the tuba lipstick. Then I happened to see in another, but this cup was originally made for my baby daddy. And I didn't like the way it was, the vinyl was laid down on it. So I seen this sticker, I Love Me, and put it on the bottom. So this one now needs sealed. And like I said, it's, I think this is a, I think this is a 20 ounce, but yeah. So, that's that. So, you're like, okay, you're doing these cups, and I, you always talk about glitter. Now, this is alcohol ink, and I, <laughs> I love this cup. This is a wood grain. Now, this is made with alcohol ink. It says, um, rise and shine, it's hunting time. I don't know any hunters. I, I do know one hunter, and he's seen this, and he loved it, and he was like, do one in camo. Now, I have not done a camo cup yet. This is my first wood grain cup. I was terrified to try this. 
that I am loving it. This is just too cute. Look at that. And it's, I think this is a 20, 20, this may be a 20 ounce skinny, I think. I don't remember. And, but the bottom of this one now, you want to talk about really thought it out? I love it. It is the deer in the, I just can turn around. It is the deer in the forest, in the woods, in the, whatever you want to call it. In nature. But that is just adorable. Love it. I need to get a cup display turner for my cups. And then it says, rise and shine. It's hunting time. But anyway, I love this one. First wood grind cup. But anyway, so back to the whole point of the video. Is that <clears throat> um, we had got in our glitter. So, let's see what's in here. Uh -huh. Here go one bag of glitter. Here go two bags of glitter. And three bags of glitter. And then my cards and that's it. And this is who I get it from. Glitter Bay. I am part of the Patreon and all the other stuff. And this is my invoice. Let me see. Let me see if this will tell me. Nope. It doesn't tell me. But it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It is nine bottles of glitter. But anyway, so let's go through the colors. Now, these colors may not show up correctly. Because my camera, for whatever reason, may like make the different and so on to a screen. But the first one out is Neverland. And it is beautiful. It is a chunky glitter. It's iridescent. I say iridescent. Gosh, holographic. It's pretty. When you turn it, it looks um, very colorful. That's that one. Ooh, princess. This one is cute too. Those two together would be beautiful. Want an ombre? For those who know how to do it, I tried ombre and my ombres look a hot, need help mess. That one. Then here is enriched. No, enchanted, my fault. Enchanted. I don't know why I said enriched. Enchanted. It, it, it's pretty. Like I said, this video, I'm pit. I was looking down at the whole time, looking at my phone. wasn't looking in the I wasn't looking in the camera. Um, this is Emperor, and this is beautiful. It's um purple that looks gold. As you turn it, it looks gold. Yeah. See, look at that. That is just beautiful. Oh my gosh. I will have to go get a job because my baby daddy's gonna be like, look, I'm gonna need 10 jobs. But my baby, baby daddy is gonna be like, I'm tired of buying glitter. This is Festivus. Festivus. This is another holographic glitter. This one is more smaller. I don't know what this was labeled under because a lot of my glitters are um, ultra fine. Which is like almost like a sand. I don't work with chunky chunky glitters because I don't know how to work with chunky glitters. At first, I wasn't a big fan of chunky glitter. I was just like, mm, that's not me. I don't know. I've seen so many tumblers done in chunky glitter to where they covered the tumbler completely with one color. And then they go back and add the chunky glitters at the bottom and just... Just no certain, no certain rhyme or reason. And just sprinkle it on there and let it go. And they're so pretty. But one day I'll get the carriage up to do it. Um, I'll have to get a curved, modern curved one and do it. Because I don't think it will look right on the, on the skinny that I normally keep in my hands. Um, this one is Dream On. And it's a white one. Holographic. See? It's so pretty. 
this one is pumpkin pie and they are so pretty like pumpkin pie I, I don't think my lighting here it reflects off of but it doesn't show you the correct coloring this one is oh my gosh this is pop and you want to talk about is beautiful. They're all sealed. They're, they never, you'll never get a drawer that's not sealed. And that's what I love about it. It just makes me feel a little fancy. That's all. It's just, just, just a little fancy. Just a little, just a little fancy. That's all. <laughs>